The iPad Pro has always been Apple's crown jewel in the tablet space, an ambitious device that has blurred the lines between laptops, tablets, and creative workstations. Each generation has carried with it a promise to push mobile computing further while keeping the iconic Apple polish intact. And now, with the rumored iPad Pro M5 in 2025, we could be standing on the edge of something bigger than just another performance bump. This isn't just about a new processor, slimmer bezels, or slightly better cameras. It's about Apple's long-term foldable strategy, its evolving OLED supply chain, and how the iPad Pro is slowly transforming into the platform that defines Apple's future beyond the iPhone. Recent leaks, unboxing footage, benchmark reports, and insider whispers suggest that the iPad Pro M5 is not just another yearly refresh. It's the quiet foundation for Apple's boldest shift yet. Foldable iPads, hybrid computing, and perhaps even a new category of devices that bridge iPads, Macs, and the Vision Pro. So, let's take a deep dive into every detail. The surprising leaks, the true power of the M5 chip, the design tweaks I, Apple's display strategy, the foldable future, and whether this year's iPad Pro is worth your hard-earned money. The big leak, iPad Pro M5 gets unboxed before launch leaks around Apple products aren't unusual, but a full unboxing video surfacing before launch is rare. That's exactly what we've seen with the iPad Pro M5. According to the footage, model shown, 13-inch iPad Pro in a stunning space black finish. Storage starts at 256 GB, which suggests Apple is phasing out the old 128 GB base models. Memory, 12 GB of RAM built in. For a tablet, that's massive, and it shows Apple is leaning heavily into multitasking on iPad OS 26 design. At just 5.1 mm thin, this remains one of the slimmest tablets in the world. Camera setup, a single rear lens, no flashy upgrades there. Speakers, quad speaker system carried over from last year. Accessories, the familiar smart connector is still in place for the magic keyboard and third party accessories. Branding shift, iPad Pro, text on the back, gone. Apple seems to be simplifying the aesthetic, possibly in preparation for the next major design overhaul. At first glance, it might look like an M4 with new paint, but what's under the hood is where things get interesting. The power of the M5 chip, Apple's first tablet, first processor, the Apple M5 chip is the true star of this show. In a surprising move, Apple is rumored to debut it in the iPad Pro before the MacBook Pro or Mac Studio. That alone says a lot. Reported performance gains, CPU, 12% faster in multi-core tasks compared to the M4 GPU, up to 36% faster graphics performance, which is a big win for creatives, video editors, and gamers architecture. Nine core CPU, built on TSMC's N3P 3 nanometer process, improving efficiency, thermals, and battery life. Memory, base model starts at 12 GB RAM, the same as the iPhone 17 Pro Max and iPhone Air, ensuring smooth multitasking. Why this matters, the M4 chip was already overkill for most people. So why push the M5 now? Because Apple is future-proofing the iPad Pro for foldables, advanced AI workflows, and desktop-level applications, building headroom for iPadOS 26, which is expected to deliver better multitasking, pro apps like Final Cut and Logic, and even more complex AI-driven tasks, positioning the iPad Pro as a gaming machine. With 30% plus GPU improvements and native support for 8A titles, the iPad Pro could quietly become one of the best portable gaming devices, an alternative to the Steam Deck or Nintendo Switch 2. In short, the iPad Pro M5 is Apple's way of making sure the iPad doesn't just survive in 2025. It evolves into something much bigger. Dual front cameras, gimmick or game changer? One of the more unusual rumors is that the iPad Pro M5 will feature dual front facing cameras. Reportedly, Apple is testing both a portrait oriented and landscape oriented camera to ensure you always look your best on FaceTime and video calls, regardless of how you're holding the device. Why two cameras? Better video calls, always the perfect angle. No more awkward off-center framing, AR and AI applications. Multiple lenses could improve facial tracking for AR apps or future AI-driven video conferencing tools. Creator workflows. Multiple camera perspectives could help in live streaming, content creation, and even 3D facial capture. But there's another side to the debate. Some believe this is unnecessary, 
And Apple should just bring over the 18 MLP sensor from the iPhone 17 Pro Max to improve quality instead of doubling up on cameras. Whether it's a gimmick or a true game changer remains to be seen, but it's undeniable that Apple is experimenting with how cameras play into hybrid work, AR, and the Vision Pro ecosystem. Design? Why this feels like a spec refresh. If you're expecting a radical redesign this year, temper your expectations. The unboxing leak already confirms that the M5 iPad Pro looks nearly identical to the M4. Same thin chassis, same. Button layout, same rear camera bump. Even the default wallpaper hasn't changed. At first, that sounds boring. But remember, the M4 was the first OLED iPad, introduced a thinner chassis, and already packed performance that left competitors scrambling. Apple's strategy this year seems deliberate. Hold design steady while laying the technical groundwork for bigger leaps in 2026 and beyond. Display innovations, OLED supply chain, and thinner bezels Apple's biggest play isn't in the visible. Design, it's in the supply chain, OLED. Scaling reports from South Korea confirm that both Samsung Display and LG Display are mass-producing OLED panels for the iPad Pro, M5. Unlike the M4 generation, where Samsung handled the 11-inch and LG supplied the 13-inch. This year, both companies are uh, producing panels for both sizes. This matters because Apple is diversifying suppliers to avoid shortages, scaling up OLED production to bring it to the entire iPad lineup. Future timeline iPad mini, 2026. First smaller OLED iPad to iPad Air, 2027. OLED adoption expands further. Chip on film, COF. Display Tech Apple is reportedly working with LG on chip on film technology, which lets display drivers sit closer to the edges. This means thinner bezels, more compact designs without shrinking screen size, a step toward bezel free tablets. The iPad Pro M5 won't include this tech, but it's likely coming in the M6 or foldable iPads. The foldable future, Apple's secret plan, here's the most exciting part. Multiple sources confirm that Apple is actively developing foldable iPad prototypes. And everything we're seeing in the M5 generation, OLED scaling, dual cameras, chipset headroom, looks like preparation for foldables. What we know so far size. Prototypes range up to 18.8 inches unfolded, bigger than a MacBook Pro 16 inch dot form factor. Not confirmed, could fold like a laptop or a book. Timeline targeted for 2026 or 2027. Caution first. Apple won't release it until it's perfected. Samsung and Huawei already have foldables, but Apple is known for waiting until the technology is flawless. In other words, the iPad Pro M5 might look incremental now, but it's the foundation for a revolution in just a couple of years. Should you buy the iPad Pro M5? Here's the big question, should you upgrade? If you own the M4 iPad Pro 2024, don't rush. The M4 already has OLED, killer performance, and a premium design. The M5 is nice, but not essential. If you own the M1, M2 iPad Pro, absolutely worth it. The jump to OLED, improved efficiency, thinner design, and massive multitasking improvements in iPadOS 26 will feel like night and day. If you're budget conscious, wait for the M5 to launch, then buy the M4 at a discount. It will likely be the best value iPad Pro ever once prices drop. The bigger picture, Apple's iPad roadmap zoom out, and the M5 starts to make sense. Apple is playing the long game. 2025, M5, OLED scaling, performance boost, subtle groundwork. 1026, OLED on iPad mini, possible first foldable preview. 2027, foldable iPad launch, thinner bezels with COF displays, custom Apple 5G modems, beyond, AI-driven multitasking, Vision Pro integration, and possibly a true hybrid between iPad, MacBook, and foldable tablet. Apple isn't treating the iPad like a big iPhone anymore. It's positioning it as a new category altogether, one that merges the portability of tablets with the power of laptops and the futuristic design of foldables. Final thoughts, why the M5 iPad Pro matters on paper. The iPad Pro M5 may seem boring, same design, small spec boosts, maybe a dual front camera, but in reality, it's one of Apple's most strategic moves yet. By refining OLED, testing new camera setups, pushing RAM and GPU performance, and scaling its display supply chain, Apple is carefully building the foundation for a foldable revolution. This isn't the iPad that will wow you at first glance. 
but it may very well be remembered as the device that set the stage for the future of computing.